every time you hear me say please, I'll need the body of Alan from Little Saint Saint Big Saints to say keep it up. So when I say please, you say what? Keep it up. There we go. It'll be interactive. To an awesome spiritual leader, Brother Stephen Christian and his lovely wife, Sister Masako Christian, it is a blessing to stand before God, the body of Christ at Bountiful, and the Donica, that's with the capital K, K, for the purpose of not to give advice nor recommendation, but for encouragement. You have been leaders to your biological and spiritual families for over a quarter century. Brother Christian, here's a opening scripture. The words of a priest's lips should preserve knowledge of God, and people should go to him for instruction. For the priest is the messenger of the Lord of Heaven's armies. Malachi 2, verse 7. You have done just that, and I encourage you to please keep it up. To Sister Masako, you have enhanced our leader in many facets of his life over the last 25 years, and it is encouraged that you please keep it up. Another 25 years. Know that these words of encouragement are wrapped in love and stamped with appreciation. This is just a delivery. Brother Christian, I thank God for your constant work and for his constant work in you. I commend you for submitting and delivering the truth to the people of the body of Christ. Please, keep it up. God has allowed you to preach, teach, and counsel me in the spirit of excellence. The last 18 years of my life have been exceptionally good. <laughs> However, the last four years here at Bountiful, it's been special because only the last four years I hold in a high esteem as they exemplify a more Christ-centered lifestyle since we've met. As a result, I am no longer on spiritual welfare. <laughs> My family and I have been blessed through your leadership, so please, keep it up! Our Heavenly Father is the author, founder, and owner of eternity and everything in it, yet he has allowed you to be a successful ambassador to him. As a flag carrier for Christ, you have done a stellar job. Men of Bountiful, MOB, if you see any godly improvements in your lifetime here, stand up. Yeah. Yeah. Give the Lord a praise. Yeah. MOB, you may be seated. <laughs> Brother Christian, please. Keep it up. Make no mistake about it. You have been the responsible chief messenger of the word in this house of God. Here's a short list of your attributes. You are long-suffering. You have sound teaching. You teach for change, not for response. You have wise counsel. Giving spirit. You are a family man. A mentor. A role model. A spiritual father. You have perseverance. You have the love for the things of God. You are an educational example. You are a father figure. You have a gracious heart. You are a historian. You are a master teacher. You are a collaborator. You have boldness when preaching. You are a worshiper and a servant leader. Keep doing what you are doing in the name of Christ, which has been putting God first. Brother Christian, know this. I respect and love you for the aforementioned, which has been including serving your wife, Sister Moscow Christian, and your family, your daughters. Bountiful, please ponder on this and do the math. There are nearly 52 weeks in a year, which is equivalent to around 52 Sundays. Now, if we only come to church on Sundays, and Brother Christian is preaching or teaching for about one hour, this means that we have an average of 52 hours a year in this building. That's the same as about two days and four hours to help us enhance our spiritual lives. Brother Christian, I need you. They need you. We need you to please. Keep it up. Finally, you are the spiritual chef here, and you have consistently served well-balanced meals. Mm. The spiritual entrees you prepare are strong meat, and they are healthy and welcome. As a spiritual chef, you cook in Jesus' kitchen, employed by God's restaurants. The ingredients are from biblically sound doctrine. Saints, can I get an amen? Amen. And Brother Christian, can I get a menu? <laughs> From staying in the prayer closet to unmasking that Jezebel spirit, I have been fed real well. Undoubtedly, you are the angel of this house, and I appreciate your spiritual swag. Please. Keep it up. Now here are two close scriptures. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2 states, Pray this way for kings and all who are in authority 
so we can live peaceful and quiet lives marked by godliness and dignity. Timothy 1, chapter 5, verse 17 states, The elders who direct the affairs of the church well are worthy of double honor, especially those whose work is preaching and teaching. Brother Stephen W. Christian and Sister Moscow Christian, I honor and encourage you to please keep it up in Jesus' name.